What's going on guys, my name is Matt. I'm gonna be helping you automate your fitness business. Today I'm gonna to be going over, is Go High Level a good software for online coaches and gyms? So there's a couple of things I'm gonna cover uh, based on the actual system itself and then I'm gonna give my opinion uh, as someone who's used it for a ridiculous number of clients and also their clients have used it as well. So um, I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna quickly go through the platform and then give uh, my opinion on it. So first and foremost, Go High Level is a marketing tool. It is, well, it's a marketing collection of tools that lumps in, you know, automation, uh, funnels, and community, and sales, all that kind of stuff into one place. So is it good for fitness coaches? I'm going to say wholeheartedly yes. However, it comes with a bit of a disclaimer at the end of that. So the reason I'm gonna say yes is because it gives you so many tools in one place and allows you to spin things up really quickly instead of getting bogged down in you know, setting up this entire infrastructure for your business that you probably don't need. Um, the biggest reason I say that in, and spinning things up quickly is because one thing that I see a lot of coaches do, especially when they're starting out, is they spend so much time building their infrastructure and not enough time actually you know, selling or creating programs or whatever, <laughs> fulfilling. Um, the reason I, I've, I've seen that is because it's a common trend. I actually did it myself. When I first started uh, coaching, I set up you know, Zapier, Calendly, all of these things um, to automate my, my business that got zero leads, right? And it wasn't until I worked with a, an online co coaching company who had none of these things but were doing, you know, a hundred times the revenue that I was doing, did I understand that it wasn't so much about the software, it was about generating a product and generating demand for it, right? So number one, uh, it, it's not gonna save you in, in, in any uh, sense, it's not gonna you know, magically flood your business with leads. Um, it, you do need a decent offer and it does need traffic in order to actually have sales, but um, the reason why I like it so much is because you can turn things on really quickly. You can create a funnel in you know, an hour. You can start generating leads and it is something that you can do really quickly, stopping you from getting into that like analysis by paral paralysis by analysis um, mode when you can't get anything done. So just quickly gonna go over the, my favorite features in GHL for coaches. Uh, and the first one is obviously gonna be funnels, right? So being able to spin up a high value content offering funnel, which is where you give something away for free in exchange for someone's email address, is incredible for gyms, coaches. Uh, the reason that is, is because if you are posting any kind of content, if you have any kind of method of traffic coming into your business, you wanna give them something. You wanna start interacting and collect that data from them. Uh, Go High Level gives you a very simple way of doing that, um, which is just having a funnel, storing those uh, contacts in one place so that you can you know, go from funnel to contacts and everything is, is right there for you, right? So that is number one for me, the biggest thing. The second is automation. So, and especially around bookings. So with uh, a calendar, you know, when you have someone who's scheduled, if you're doing enough volume, you're going to see people no show. So you're gonna have people book a time and not show up. A way that you can decrease that dramatically is by having SMS reminders and email reminders, even WhatsApp reminders, two people um, to ensure they show up. You know, No one is ever gonna be as warm as they are uh, when they apply. So getting them, you know, thinking about their goals, thinking about the booking, and actually getting them to show up on the call is one of the things that GHL does really well. Now, GHL has a bunch of other features, but those two things are for me the biggest uh, wins, and it's the fastest bang for your buck, is automation and, and funnels. So when it comes to those simple things, it crushes, right? Where I think people get stuck with Go High Level, and it's probably one of the reasons why people you know, um, say it doesn't work or, or, or it's a waste of money or whatever, is simply because they don't know what they're selling. And they will build all of these automations and workflows and, and funnels and websites and um, automated processes to ask for reviews and all that kind of stuff, but never actually flood traffic to it. So it just sits there and the, the most perfect tool um, can be the wrong tool for the job. And in, in a lot of cases, people haven't figured out how to push traffic somewhere. So for me, the biggest letdown is when people try Go High Level when they're not ready for it. And that can be you know 
quite dangerous to the to the effectiveness of the brand. So, um, when it comes down to, is it good for fitness coaches? I think yes. Um, I think there is a lot of things you can, you know, once you've done the basics, you can start to tailor um, onboarding process, you know, funnel management, all of that kind of thing. It really works well for the way that coaches structure, which is usually traffic, uh, booked call, person shows up the call, there's an outcome from the call, um, then X, Y, Z happens, you know, they onboard to different platforms or whatever, and Go High Level gives you a lot of flexibility to work with other platforms and do that too. So I think it's great. I think the only downside is when people use it before they're not ready and it could kind of, you know, people can start talking down on it. So I think it's great. If you are looking to try it out, um, just go on their website or you can use my affiliate link. I don't really care. Um, just start using it. But if you're not ready, you know, cancel that two week trial before it finishes um, and work on things that you can actually, uh, that actually drive revenue. So um, yeah, hope you enjoy that one. I'll see you again soon.